Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial we are going to be making Walter the Whale. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial and it's going to be two parts. Part one is going to be the body, the tail, and the eyes. Part two is going to be the face shaping, the chest plate, the side fins, and the water spout. It's a super fun pattern and would be a great gift for anybody. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using Baby Snuggle yarn. This is a polyester yarn. It's a size 6. And I'm going to be using this blue color for the body and this white color for the um, water spout and the belly plate. Now you don't need to use bulky yarn. You can use worsted weight yarn as well. Just keeping in mind that your project will turn out smaller if you use smaller yarn. I'm going to be using my 5.5 millimeter hook today with this yarn. We're also going to need about 16 inches of black or any color um, medium weight yarn, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, a stitch marker, some fabric pins, safety eyes, and some fiber fill. The stitches that you're going to need to be able to do to complete this pattern is a magic ring, a single crochet, a slip stitch, an increase stitch, and a decrease stitch. So let's get into it. Now to begin with row one, we are going to be starting with our color A yarn. So whatever the color is you want the body of the whale to be is what we're going to start with. How this whale is going to work is we're going to start from the head and the tail and then the fins all in one solid piece. So there shouldn't be any sewing on for that area. So to start with row one, we are going to take our color A yarn and we're going to complete a magic ring. Now if you're unsure of how to create any of these stitches, I will link a few tutorials in the description box below that will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete them. So to begin, after we've completed our magic ring, we are going to complete eight single crochets in the round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to pull our magic ring closed. And we're going to place our stitch marker. Now I like to use a strand of yarn for my stitch marker just because I find it easier to use but you can use just a regular stitch marker as well. Now for row two we're going to do an increased stitch in each stitch around. So an increased stitch is two single crochets in each stitch. So this is our first stitch here and we are going to place one single crochet and then in the exact same stitch, we're going to place another single crochet. So that's two. Now we're going to go to the next one. Place two in that one. Three. Four. Into the next one. Five. And six. The next one. Seven. And eight. The next one is nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So you should have sixteen stitches at the end of row two. Now for row three, we're going to do the combination single crochet increase. So single crochet in the first stitch and increase in the second. So two stitches in one, single crochet and increase. You're going to complete this a total of eight times and at the end of this row, you should have 24 stitches 
increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, and one last time, single crochet, increase, just like so. For row four, we're going to do a combination of two single crochets and an increase stitch. So single crochet one, two, and increase. One, two, increase. We're gonna complete this as well eight times and your stitch count at the end of this row should be 32. So just complete your row four and I'll meet you here for row five. Now for row five, we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. So single crochet, 32 around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just finish row five and I'll meet you back here for row six. For row six, we're gonna do the combination single crochet three and an increase stitch. So one, two, three, and increase again. So two stitches in one, one, two, three, and an increase stitch. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. And again, we're doing this eight times and you should have 40 stitches at the end of this row. Now for row seven, we're going to do the combination four single crochets and an increased stitch. So one, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. Again, we're doing this eight times, and you should have a stitch count of 48 at the end of this row. Three, four, increase. So just complete row seven, and I will meet you back here for row eight. So that is row seven completed, and this is what we're looking like right now. Now for the next step for rows eight through 13, so six rows, you're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around. We have 48 single crochets in these rounds, so you're gonna single crochet 48 for rows eight through 13. Now I'm gonna finish this off camera and I will meet you back here at the end of row 13 and we'll move on to row 14. So this is what we're looking like after rows 1 through 13 are completed. 
Now we're gonna start making the curve of the body down to the tail. So for rows, row 14, we're gonna start off with 14 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. After that, we're going to do a combination of single crochet three and decrease, and we're going to do that four times. So one, two, three, and we'll do an invisible decrease. So we're going to grab the front loop of the first stitch here and the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over and pull through both those loops, yarn over and pull through two. So that's one. One, two, three, and a decrease. That's two. One, two, three, and a decrease. That's three. One, two, three, and a decrease, and that's four. Now to finish off this row, we're going to do 14 single crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that is row 14 complete. Now for row 15, we're gonna start off with a combination of single crochet four and a decrease stitch. And we're gonna do that two times. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease. That's one, one, two, three, four, and a decrease stitch again. And that's two. Now we're gonna do a combination of single crochet two decrease, and we're gonna do that five times. One, two, and decrease. That's one. One, two, decrease. That's two, one, two, decrease, that's three, one, two, decrease, that's four, one more, one, two, decrease, and that's five. Now to finish off row 15, we're gonna do the combination of single crochet four decrease, and we're gonna do that twice. Three, four, and a decrease. One, two, three, four, and a decrease. And that is row 15 complete. For row 16 and 17, we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch around. At this point, you should have 
35 stitches in your round. So we're going to single crochet 35. Three, four, five. I'm going to complete rows 16 and 17 off camera, and then I will meet you back here for row 18. And that is row 17, 16 and 17 complete. Now moving on to row 18, we're going to start off with a combination of single crochet three and a decrease stitch, and we're going to do that twice. So one, two, three, and an invisible decrease. That's one, one, two, three, and an invisible decrease, and that's two. Next, we're going to do single crochet two, decrease, and we're going to do that four times. One, two, and a decrease. That's one. One, two, decrease. That's two. One, two, decrease. That's three. One, two, decrease. That's four. Now we're going to do a combination of single crochet three, decrease. And we're going to do that one time. Two, three, decrease. And to finish off, we're going to place four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And at the end of row 18, we should have 28 stitches around. Now for rows 19 and 20, we're going to place 28 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch around. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I will finish rows 19 and 20 off camera and then I'll meet you back here for rows 21. Alright, and moving on to rows 21, we're going to start off with a combination of single crochet 2 and a decrease stitch. So 1, 2, and a decrease. And we're going to do that twice. One, two, and a decrease. And then we're going to do single crochet, decrease, and we're going to do that five times. So single crochet, decrease. That's one. Single crochet, decrease. That's two. Single crochet, decrease. That's three. Single crochet, decrease is four. And one more single crochet, decrease. Next, we're going to do a combination single crochet two, one, two, and a decrease. And we're just going to do that one time. And then we're going to end off row 21 with one single crochet. And you should have 20 stitches at the end of this row. For rows 22 and 23, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. So single crochet 20 for the two rows of 22 and 23. 
And I will finish these off camera and I will come back after row 23 is completed. Now, before we move on, once we've completed up to row 23, we're going to stuff our whale and we're going to place our eyes. Now, I know that the hole here is kind of small, but I did that because you want to see what the shape of the body is first before you place the eyes so that you place them in the correct spot. So I'm just going to take my fiber, fiber fill here and I'm just going to start stuffing my whale. Now, you just don't want to overstuff, but you also don't want to understuff. Um, if you find that your stitches are splitting apart, that means that you've stuffed too much. So what I like to do is I just like to put my stuffing in and then I just like to sweep it to the outside just to make sure that every part of the whale is getting stuffed. And then I'll just keep filling up those holes. And I also like to stuff before I place my eyes because then you get a real idea of what you're whale is looking like because I just find that's easier just shape it out Now once you're stuffed, you're going to notice that one side kind of is starting to slope down a little bit and one side's more flat. Now the side that's slipping down, that's going to be the top of your head. And we want to place the eyes on the side of the head, kind of like this. So once you've found your top, what we're going to do is we're going to place our eyes on rows 10 and 11 on the sides of the head like this. So we're gonna just count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 and 11. So I'm just gonna place my eye here just to hold my spot and I'm gonna, I can move it around before I do the final placement. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Just gonna place my eye. Now I just want to look and make sure that they're directly in line with each other. And so this is gonna be kind of like the front of the head here, and this is the side. And we just want to make sure they're on the same rows, they're in line with each other, and they're in line with our curve of the body. And once they're in line with all of that, then we can place the backings on our eyes and we're all done to move on to the next row. So just take your backing and just push it up the side. And I know this is more difficult with the stuffing, but for this pattern, it's really important that you do the stuffing first because you're not going to get the full shape of the head until you put the stuffing in. So we'll put that in and then we'll do the other side. So like that, and that is all finished stuffing and the eyes for now. Now we will continue to stuff every few rows until we reach the fins, um, just to make sure that we're keeping up with it. All right, now moving on to rows 24, we're going to start off with two decrease stitches. So decrease. That's one, and a decrease again, that's two. 
Now we're going to place 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then we're going to place two more decreased stitches again. So one, two, and that is row 24 complete. Now we should have 16 stitches at the end of this row. Moving on to rows 25 through 27, we're going to place 16 single crochets. So that's three rows. We're going to place 16 single crochets in each row. Three, four, five, six, seven. I will finish this off camera and then I'll meet you back here for row 28. Now once we finish up to row 27, we're just going to stuff again, just to keep up with making sure that we're stuffing as we go here. Now we're going to move on to row 28. So we're going to start off with three decreased stitches. So one, two, three, and then we're going to place eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to do one more decrease stitch in the last two stitches here. And that is row 28 complete and we should have 12 stitches. Now to finish off the tail here, before we start the fins, we're going to just do two rows, so rows 29 and 30, a single crochet 12. So 12 single crochets around for rows 29 and 30. Now, after you've finished rows 29 and 30, we're going to stuff again. Now, we're going to be working into the fins next. So this is the last time you'll be able to stuff the body before we basically close it off. So make sure you've stuffed as much as you want. So that's kind of what we're looking like right now. We have our body, our eyes, and then our tail, and then our fins are gonna be attached right here, and they're gonna just kind of go up a little bit like that to follow the pattern here of this angle up. All right, so next we're going to move on to the fins. So we're gonna work directly from the body onto the fins. And basically the first step here for row 31 
is we want to find the center of our um, round right here where it lines up with the top of the head because the center is going to be the center of the fins so you're going to have two fins out like this so we want to be centered with the top of the head so that's going to be different for everybody depending on your tension and how you crochet some people will have to make only one single crochet some will have to make two some will have to make three just do however many single crochets you need to to get to the center so I'm going to do one one and two and I'm going to see where that brings me so the center of my head is about right here so I think for me I'm just going to do two single crochets to get to the center so the next step is we want to create two sides of the fins here so we need to split this round in half so we want to have six stitches on each side so what we're going to do for the first side is we're actually going to count to seven single crochets so one two three four five six and on the seventh we're going to insert our hook we're going to yarn over pull through and we're going to pull through to make a single crochet now you should have six on this side and six on this side. So you basically have two holes here. And those are going to be your fins. Now I'm going to just move my stitch marker over. And we're going to work one fin at a time here. So I'm just going to place my stitch marker right there. For row one of the fin, we're going to start with six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. For row 32, we're going to do single crochet, increase stitch, single crochet, and an increase. We're going to do that three times for a total stitch count of nine at the end of this row. Single crochet. increase all right now for row 33 we're going to do a combination of single crochet two increase one two increase and we're going to repeat this three times for a total stitch count of 12 at the end of this row. One, two, increase. One, two, increase. Now for rows 34, 35, 36, and 37, so four rows, we're going to do single crochet 12. So one single crochet in each stitch around for four rows.
All right. Now for rows 38, we're going to do single crochet two and a decrease stitch. So we're gonna start going back down now. So invisible decrease. And we're gonna repeat this three times for a total stitch count at the end of this row of nine. One, two, decrease. Now for row 39, we're gonna do the combination single crochet and decrease. Single crochet, decrease. We're gonna repeat that three times as well and we should have a stitch count of six at the end of this row. Single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, decrease. I'm gonna just remove my stitch marker. Now that is the last row of the fin, the first fin. So I'm just gonna make a slip stitch into this next stitch over, pull through. <coughs> going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut that and then I'm just going to pull that through. <clears throat> now to finish off this row, remember we're not stuffing the fin so it's fine to leave it empty. What we're going to do is we're just going to go around and we're going to go under the front loop of each stitch and we're going to pull our yarn through. And this is going to help us close off this final row. Just pull that tight. And then I just like to make a little knot as well, just for extra security. And then I just weave my end in here. Cut my yarn. And there is one fin completed. Now I'm just gonna take some fiber fill and I'm just gonna stuff it right in this end here just to make sure that the beginning of the fin here has a little bit of stuffing. We don't want to stuff this portion of it but like maybe just these like two rows here I like to have a little bit of stuffing because it helps it keep its shape a little bit better. All right, and now we're gonna start working on the second fin. So to start the second fin, we're going to start with a slip knot. So once we have our slip stitch, or sorry, our slip knot on our hook, we're going to insert into one of the stitches along the side for the new fin. I uh, you'd like to just start at the closest stitch to the previous fin. So we're going to insert, yarn over and pull through, and we're going to make a single crochet here. Now we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the first fin. It's the same pattern on the second fin. So we're going to do six single crochets here. Two, three, four, five, six. 
Now there is going to be kind of a space here where there's no stitch and that's okay because we're going to sew that together anyway so it's no big deal. So I'm just going to place my stitch marker here and I'm going to move on to the next row. We're going to do single crochet and increase. Single crochet. We're doing this three times. Increase. Single crochet and an increase. So that's what we're looking like. So you're going to have a bit of a hole here, that's fine. Now the next row we're going to do single crochet two and an increase. One, two, increase. Do that three times for a total stitch count of 12. One, two, increase. One, two, increase. All right. So for rows 34 to 37 again, we're going to do 12 single crochets around. Two, three, four. I'm going to complete these four rows off camera and I will meet you back here for row 38. All right, and for 30, row 38, we're going to do single crochet two and a decrease stitch. We're going to repeat that three times for a total stitch count of nine. One, two, decrease, one, two, decrease. And then for the final row, we're going to do the combination single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease. Remove our stitch marker. And same thing, we're just going to place a slip stitch here. Cut our yarn and just pull that through. Now we'll just take our smaller hook here and just do the exact same thing we did on the other side to close up this top round here. And then we'll just roll a knot here. And then we'll weave in our end here. All 
All right, so this is what we're looking like right now with our fins completed. And I'm just going to kind of squish my yarn around just to make sure that I have the shape that I want. And now we're just going to finish off the fins. We need to sew this closed here. So I'm just going to use this yarn tail from when we started our slips, um, slip stitch for the second fin. I'm going to attach it to my darning needle. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just close up this hole here with just a few stitches. And then what we want to do is I like to attach either one to two, maybe three rows of the fins together. I just personally like the look of this. This is something that you can skip if it's not what you're looking for. Um, but I just take the time here to sew together at least two rows of our fins. Just like that. And then I'll just go back down here. And then I'm just going to make a little knot. Here. Just to secure that. And then I will just weave my yarn tail in to the body. Just like that. Now, um, for the next step here, we're just going to take maybe about a 12 inch strand of yarn, of your color A yarn, and you're going to attach it to your darning needle. Now, because these fins, they can just be wide and whatever, I like to keep them flat. So I'm just going to place basically a stitch and it's going to go, this will be 39, 38, 37. I usually do 36. I'll just put my needle up through the bottom, pull that, and then I go back down one row up, and then I will just tie a knot here, and that's just going to keep that fin flat. Just cut that and then I'll repeat it on the other side. So up in the center, pull that through and then back down to meet the other side. Tie a knot. those ends and then I'm just going to weave these yarn ends into the fin and the tail here. And that is the body, the tail, and the fins completed. That is part one complete. Please head over to part two for how to shape the face, make the chest plate, make the side fins, and the water spout.